My life has changed quite a bit in the last few months, and I feel it's a good time to catch back up, tell you how I've been feeling and what's to come. So today, we're running a Q&A. All right, so I got my day started by getting ready and shaving a little bit. I answered a few questions, and then I went and launched a video where I got to chat with a bunch of you guys. You're the best. I want to say super grateful for this community we're building, and I have a lot of fun ideas for the future. But for now, let's get on with our day. All right, so I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions, and I'm gonna answer them. How tall are you? I am 5'11". People think that I'm six foot. Some people think that I'm 5'10". I'm 5'11". That's what I'm rolling with. Will your mom's house continue when the lease is over? I believe so. My bet is that we are going to continue the house. If you guys don't know, your mom's house is basically the house I live at here in New York City. It's like a bunch of creators. I do want to continue doing that, and I hope that they do too. But we still have like six more months left on our lease, so only time will tell. What's your go-to coffee order? My go-to coffee order is a nice vanilla latte. I know it's basic, but it's my go-to. How's life compared to last year? For me, I swear each year gets better. Could be recency bias, but I do feel like every year gets better. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Kelly, why are you so perfect? Well, I'm actually not perfect. I have Raynaud's disease where my fingers change colors. You see this? You get this? Look at this. We were outside for literally like 10 minutes. Fingers changing colors already. We got security coming. Let's ask them a question. Hello. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see you packing up before we get PAPD over here to escort you out of the site. Okay, no worries. Okay. This is to the non-believers. The people that don't believe in do it excites. Fuck you. This man ain't believing in the vision. I'm out here trying to make content, make everyone's day better. This is what I get. It's ridiculous. You can get a fat donkey to the butt. Mm. How you nah, doing, man? man. <laughs> as entertaining as I'm sure this would be. I can't let you with that. Oh, I'm, I'm just doing a Q&A. I know. I personally don't care. People watching the cameras care. Oh, know? gotcha. You got any tips for people who want to start something on their own? Don't overcomplicate it. Just do it. Don't overcomplicate it. Just do it. Yeah. All right. Then I, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to stay here. I'm gonna do it. Uh, Your words, not mine. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Can I just do like one minute or no? One minute? Now you have four minutes. Okay, I'll be quick. I didn't say nothing. You didn't say nothing. What is the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning? Sometimes I think about Ashley. Sometimes I uh, think about what I'm doing that day. Like, you know, if I'm filming, I'm getting hyped. Sometimes I'm literally waking up like, holy shit, my filmer is at the door. I really got to shower really fast and get ready. All time favorite food. I like Mexican food the most. I'd say like burritos, it's just like the best. I grew up eating like Spam Musubi. Like my grandma would make some mean Spam Musubi. That shit slaps. That shit is the best. Freakiest thing you've done with the boys. One time with Elliot, I did put soy sauce on his balls. That would probably be the sussest thing I've done because I literally like cupped his balls. What do you do when you're depressed or not feeling yourself? I really try to do what excites. Like I know it sounds corny or like cheesy because I'm saying it. Literally try to get out of my comfort zone. I was sad a few videos ago, so I went and like jumped in Coney Island's cold ass water and it's just nice to do something that you don't want to do. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. All right, next question. What do you use to stay safe online? Well, I use NordVPN, the best virtual private network out there. All right, you guys know I'm trying to pass Steph Curry and subscribers and I wanna stay safe so he doesn't know my every move online and that's exactly where NordVPN comes in. With NordVPN, it gives me peace of mind while I'm browsing the internet and keeps me safe from people being able to monitor what I do online. NordVPN's newest upgrade is called Threat Protection. With Threat Protection, it blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. Just an added flex, NordVPN offers built-in threat protection for Windows and Mac OS on their desktop app without any additional costs. And NordVPN is no longer just a VPN. It is also for your cyber security. Now, I don't just like NordVPN. I love it. I love it. Now, I know you guys want worry-free web browsing, so I hooked you guys up. You can enjoy using NordVPN risk-free thanks to their 30-day money-back guarantee. You can click the link in the description or use code KellyWickHoss at checkout to start protecting yourself online. 
We got kicked out inside, so we're outside now. What motivates you to create content? Well, I would say you guys motivate me. My own inner self, just like wanting to be a big creator. Like my dream isn't to be the creator I am today. My dream is to be the creator I am in 10 years or whatever, having 100 million subscribers. Like I'm not here just for like little stuff. Like I'm trying to be big. I want to, you know, impact the world and like spread do it excites as much as I can. And um, I want to take down Steph Curry. I'm just being honest, like he's got 1.5 million subscribers. He's, he spends more time on the court than on YouTube. And like, how can I not beat him? So y'all better rally with me. And uh, I want to beat Steph Curry. I want to meet Steph Curry. And I want him to say do it excites. Give him a handshake. He goes, dude, I love your stuff. Do it excites. And then I'd probably cry. And I'd probably just have to take a break for like a week. I've been grinding YouTube for since like I was so little. Like my first YouTube videos, I'm literally like nine years old. This is everything I ever wanted. And I'm so grateful that like people support me and want to see like this grow. And I'm, tr I'm trying to build with everyone and have do it excites take to the next level and just inspired by the journey. Bro, I don't even know where I went with that. I just got like emotional for no reason. <laughs> what was that? I can't do this? No. Okay, no worries. What's next? Well, I still feel like a small creator. I really want to build Do It Excites and- Whoa! Whoa! What a catch. Yeah, I want to build Do It Excites as a brand and as like, you know, a phrase. Continue to make better videos, work on group channel stuff uh, with the rest of the roommates. We actually have a podcast. This is a great time to announce. I'll link it down below. There's an episode just like about my origin story. One hour long podcast episode about myself. So if you're curious, you can check it out. Link in description. I really, really, really want to build this community together. And I want to have people be able to like communicate with others. So look forward to, oh my God, I'm going to try to put together some type of place where you guys can chat with each other, go on adventures together and ultimately have more friends because the whole idea with Do It Excites is to get out of your comfort zone and have more friends and be along with the journey with other people because the longest time I felt lonely. And now that I have you guys, it's amazing. So I hope everyone can like have friends that want to do stuff together and build amazing things. Dude, I'm wearing my paparazzi hat right now. Really Alrighty, yeah. here we go guys. Right here in Soho, we're in Ashley Stomping Grounds. And you know, we get in a bag today. Literally, I'm gonna buy my first bag. It's my mom's 60th birthday coming up and they're also visiting. So I'm gonna buy a bag and spend a bag. Oh look, this is a- uh, YSL. This is like the most expensive place. All right, then I don't wanna go there. Not the most expensive, but like, it will be like 5K. 5K for a bag? Yeah. Well, we'll try to keep it within budget. Make sure it's a nice, classic piece that's wearable on many occasions. My mother better like me now. Hey, yeah, ride and die. Hey, I know she'll be ready when I pull up ton of stuff. Sir, I'm sorry, you can't record. Oh, you can't record? But I'm trying to buy a bag. <laughs> hey, look. Oh my we're, God. We're still recording. That is so funny. Okay, we're trying to focus on the bag. What about these bags? Do you like these bags? Those are makeup bags. Makeup bags, not a good bag. That's mine. Wait, what about these bags? Like that, isn't that, aren't those nice bags? Thanks. Excuse me? I was just curious how much like these bags are. Uh, that one is 3,800. And if I live in the area, do I get like, you know, an area <laughs> discount? I, I wish, no. Guys, I'm actually really stressed out about buying the bag. Oh. I'm just like, damn, this is the most money I feel like I've ever spent on a material good. On that note, what is the scariest thing you've ever done? Buying a bag from my mom. <laughs> oh, oh, definitely the scariest moment of my life was not being covered in bees, not like skydiving, not moving to New York. It definitely was doing the naked challenge, like being naked in front of that entire class, being nude in front of all those students and my friends and my filmer. It was just like, dude, like these like more mentally scary ones are the worst. When it's like kind of a physical, like, oh, like I might die. That's like not as scary as like, I might get embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, like honestly being more vulnerable is more scary. Actually, <laughs> it's really funny. After I did that video and I was like naked in front of all those people, I like immediately wanted to be naked in front of more people. Really? I was like, I You're really like wanted to flash high. Elliot, but I didn't. Catch me on public, guarantee she by my side. Oh, Ain't nobody yeah, out here yeah. that can be as fly as mine. No. This is nice. My mom likes honestly, pink. How much do you think this bag is? This, uh, imagine I go, mom, I got you a bag. and It's just this. Dude, this is like a coin purse. How much is this one? 33.50. 33.50. Okay. Honestly, okay. now that I keep hearing all these numbers, it's like I'm getting desensitized. So it doesn't even sound bad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are good at your job, man. <laughs> Basically, all these bags have been thousands of dollars and I haven't pulled the trigger. So I'm just weighing my options right now. I want this gift to tell my mom, you know, all the pain and struggles that we went through, like, Aww. cause we were so like- Butting heads. Yeah, like she wanted me to keep playing soccer and I wanted to skate and make YouTube videos. 
that I was like, it's gonna pay off, Ma, so. Okay, I like this question. If you were a pasta shape, what shape would you be? Ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> Meaty boy. Because I, uh, I, you know, I came from being a big boy when I was little. Okay. So, you know, okay. I, I always like the raviolis, got the most thing for my buck when I put it in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chef, <laughs> Chef Boy RD. Mm. A little spinach and cheese, ravioli. Um, you're my veggie by me. Honestly, all these bags are rip-offs. Let's be honest. I'm gonna say the Louis Vuitton classic coat is the most bang for your buck. Where are we? Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. How do you feel right now? I feel a lot broker. This is nice. Yeah, both of these are oh, nice. My mom's gonna love it. Let me see it on a, gir a girl. Wow, my mom is gonna be the bougiest mom on the block. Oh That's yeah, right. yeah. Throw away that Michael Kors. I we don't need that. All right, let's do it. Kelly, just swipe the card. How do you feel? I don't check the price. All I do is swipe. Now that I swiped it once, I want to swipe more. Let's go to the next yeah, store. Do. You know, I kind of want a bag <laughs> for myself. You should get a you should get a bag for yourself. No, if I get a bag for myself, bag? I want you to slap me. I mean, I don't know. This is like the most expensive thing I've ever bought. He's like, so nervous, <laughs> dude. I did it. Okay. Hey. Wow, Kelly got the bag. Yo, you, are you feeling like a baller right now? I feel so stupid. You feel stupid? Well, I don't feel stupid because it's for my mom, but it, I just like, like I'm like, why would I ever buy this? I would never buy this for myself. This is like a l good life moment. It's like you just bought your mom a Louis bag because you worked your ass off. This is more uncomfortable than all these like crazy dares I do mm -hmm. or whatever, like all the challenges. Buying the Louis bag was the most uncomfortable <laughs> thing I've ever done in my life. But she made me work for something like a nine to five. What inspired you to become a content creator? I would say my brothers were the first people to ever inspire me. They made some videos when I was like really young and we used to make like soccer trick shot videos. And so we did that, like we did that as a sibling dynamic. In my entire life, all I wanted to do was be better than my brothers. Like when they did videos, I wanted to make better videos. And that was kind of like a running theme in my life. I just kept trying to one up my brothers and making videos really stuck since I was like 10 years old. What is your most embarrassing story? When I was 14, I played on a soccer team and one day I was pulling up to practice and I really had to pee really bad like extremely bad but basically all practice I was trying to impress the coaches they literally like never had a water break or a pee break and I just wanted to impress them so I didn't ask to go to the bathroom mid drill like I thought that would look bad so by the end of the practice two hours in I literally have to pee so freaking bad and we're at the huddle he's literally just doing his last little talk and I'm in the back you know pacing back and forth I'm really gotta go basically I pee in front of like all my friends and I'm 14 I'm kind of old like it was really embarrassing like everyone started laughing the coaches were like dying and I was just like damn I just pissed my pants like completely and I did not go to school the next day I just like literally could not show my face so definitely the most embarrassing story for sure <laughs> Who is your least favorite roommate? Well, my least favorite roommate. I think that guy. Hey, the question is perfect timing. My least favorite roommate. What is this? Um, this is my desk. Here, grab a chair, man. Oh, what you doing out here in K-Town? Welcome to my hood. <laughs> How's your... Your... <sighs> day... Man. going. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh my god, is that Nick? Nick! Oh my god, what are you guys doing here? Nick, You're come here! You have been here the whole time? Nick, pull a chair, pull a chair. Special guest, Nick. Besides Elliot, who's your favorite person in our house? Ooh, I love all of you guys. Just say one. Um, just say one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a question. When did you have suspicion that Ashley and I were a thing? I honestly, from like the very beginning, I, I'm Whoa. calling it. I see it. I'm calling it. So Ellie was oblivious. No, I actually. He, I had to convince him. I was just like, wait, do you see? Oh, What's that's true. I was oblivious. If you had a superpower, what would you have? I would have the superpower of snap of the finger editing. So then all my videos would be done in a second. Dude, I can't believe I just wasted a superpower on editing. <laughs> <laughs> New York versus Bay Area. Oh, New York. God. Really? As a Bay Area native, you really oh, are gonna well, pick New York. Like, for living, living in New York for sure. The Bay is expensive and you don't get the, like, the perks of New York. Like you got the subway here. I'm still repping the Bay. The only thing you're repping on the Bay is Steph Curry, that's it. Yeah, which I'm gonna pass some subscribers this how many, year. How many subscribers? He's got 1.5 million subscribers, okay? Wow. I don't have a million yet, but it's just it's disappointing that that man doesn't spend any time on his videos and has 1.5. You know, like I spent my entire life 
<laughs> and I just like, that's all I want is just to be able to beat him, shake him in the hand and go, do what he sights. Damn, then I guess everyone here should subscribe. It's a great segue. Someone asked, what do you do for a living? You are watching what I do for a living right now. What's changed since you moved to New York City? My sense of fashion has changed since I moved to New York City. Like Ashley has blessed me with her closet. So a lot of my pieces are now from Ashley. What's, li what's life like as a, as a subway driver? Just good? Yeah, it's good. Come on. I can't see You close doors on people every day? Nah, I don't. <laughs> Take care, man. Right. Appreciate you. Oh, I'm just shooting a video. Oh, a video? Yeah. Right. So you're not going to be doing any crazy tricks or anything like that, right? No, no, no. We're I'm literally just shooting a video. All right, cool. That's fine. Yeah. Right. Have fun. Hey, you know, I, hey, I don't want no problem, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not going to jump into Hudson today. Yeah, yeah. I already did that. We'll never get out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. We're trying to carry us out everywhere we go. Let's do the questions. What does Do It Excites mean to you? We're here at the infamous 303 down at the pier. I did a trick here not too long ago. I wanna push myself even more. So I'm thinking holly up, tray flip, then front shove off. Oh, wow, dude, I really lost my touch. The origin story of Do It Excites is that it all started in like beginning of 2020. This was pre-pandemic and everything. It was like during the lowest point in my life. I was lonely, I was depressed, I was living at my grandma's and I just felt like, like a loser. My YouTube that I've been grinding for years wasn't doing anything. I was making very little money. I was just basically lost. I felt like I had no friends. I was heartbroken. Oh, I was so upset. I started writing down like, What's my favorite emotion? I said excitement. From there I came up with the phrase, do what excites. That phrase, like I know it sounds crazy and stuff, but like that phrase single-handedly like brought me out of such a dark place and is why I'm so passionate about it today. I'm losing confidence, man. My whole mission is to really help people, like the people that feel lonely, you know, as a maybe like a older or like a teenager to young adult type demographic. Like we're just like learning about ourselves, you know, wanting to fit in, ha wanting to have friends. We don't really know which way to go with our lives, but just like by having a phrase as powerful as do what excites, it like allowed me to have the confidence to pursue my dreams and feel like, well, at least I'm trying. It's just a tray flip, man, right here. really helped me like become the person I always wanted to be, which is like who I am today. And I'm still striving, of course, to become better and better, but it wouldn't have been here without a little help from Do What Excites. Woo! Two hours later, ain't nothing easy out here. Eat that shit, do what excites. Steph Curry, I'm coming for you. Let's go.